What's up guys? I'm going to be discussing my workflow and also how I render and uh, move things about in my compositions such as from Vegas to After Effects or After Effects to Vegas. Um, it's not really that complicated. Uh, I'll go over my settings uh, for both programs. So uh, I'll start with uh, After Effects. So the first thing I do after I record my uh, any any video really is um I bring it into After Effects and uh, the reason I do this is because in After Effects I can then size it so basically crop it to how I want it and I can apply my color correction etc such as magic bullet looks um, which basically when I render them clip by clip in here I make sure that everything is finalized so that my Vegas comp doesn't lag as much and that it's just uh, better and easier for me to work. Um, and basically, when I'm done with everything, as in color correction and splitting and uh, basically everything, uh, apart from putting it all together, I will go to composition, add to render queue, and the output module I use is QuickTime. My format options are animation 29.97 and best millions of colors. Then I would render to my desktop or uh, my project folder. And then once I have that rendered, so let's just go ahead and switch off the effects I have on here. Once I have it rendered, I will basically close down After Effects and hop into Vegas. Now in Vegas I ensure that my final composition is 1280 by 720 uh, so that basically they match up and that I don't have any problems in my final render of the video. So once my thing is done rendering I'll move it into Vegas. It's nearly done now. Okay, so it's done rendering. Uh, I'll just pop it into Vegas and once it's in Vegas basically let's just pretend this is my timeline let's pretend this is Alt F4 Alt F4 2 even and basically now that I've done that I will render this now imagine this is a final project and it's finished I'll render it out in AVI which I have a render tutorial with specific settings I use in Vegas so you should check that out if you want to know how I render my videos and that would basically be my video done. So to summarize, I record my clips in Solarfront or FSX, any game, uh, and I will put them into After Effects, do the color correction, do the cropping, do the splitting, uh, change the time of it, change, change the length, speed it up, slow it down, whatever needs to be done with the clip, I'll do it in After Effects, add blood, whatever. And then after that, it will go into Vegas. And when it's in Vegas, uh, I will basically put it together and render it out into the final video. So it goes After Effects, Vegas, final video. And the same for any other 3D application or particle illusion. I'll make it in particle illusion, render it out, and put it in Vegas uh, or into my footage in After Effects. Depends. Uh, we're like, say, if it's an overlay, it'll be in Vegas. But say, if it's some text that needs to be integrated with After Effects, it'll be going into After Effects to match up. So that's about it. I hope this wasn't too confusing, and I hope that uh, you'll learn from this and um, you know uh, basically use it to your advantage. Because uh, I've heard of some people they render back and forth, um, and I don't recommend doing that because somewhere along the line you will start to lose quality. And the reason I use dot .mov is it's basically lossless without the file size. If you render to AVI uncompressed, it's going to be really large file size. Um, dot mov is large but just not as large so yeah if you have a question drop a comment or go to our forums that's about it for me